The issue of conservative blacklisting by social media companies and financial institutions is another major talking point at this year's CPAC event. Uh, One American News caught up with conservative activist Laura, Loom Laura Loomer, who is drawing attention to these issues. Take a look. We've been doing a lot of work investigating the social media companies and their bias against conservatives. We know they have been caught on camera by Project Veritas, we, you know, admitting that they shadow ban and silence conservatives. Just the other day, a Project Veritas report came out that showed that Facebook is intentionally de-boosting conservative posts, right? The CEO of PayPal came out and said that uh, he's working with the SPLC to target people. The Wall Street Journal, who they don't agree with, the Wall Street Journal confirmed that CARE, a designated Islamic terrorist organization, lobbied Twitter behind the scenes in order to have me banned from Twitter. And so these are all things that the mainstream media, unfortunately, really isn't talking about as much as they should. And so I'm holding demonstrations across the country, and I'm doing my videos, and, uh, you know, they go viral. Uh, they are sensational because, uh, well, they're ballsy. And a lot of people really aren't doing what I'm doing in terms of taking the risks that I'm taking. But I believe that the risks I take, even if it means getting arrested, are essential and necessary for my country because we're at a point right now where we're going to reach a tipping point. Uh, there's so much division in this country. The left has no moral or ethical compass. Uh, they have no rule book. And I believe, and it's always been my uh, my belief, that you need to fight fire with fire. And, you know, today is March 1st. Uh, seven years ago, Andrew Breitbart passed away. And I think that, uh, you know, it really it really uh, encapsulates the, the spirit of Andrew Breitbart, who always told people to walk directly into the fire and to not worry about the things that other people say about them. And I know that a lot of people, you know, dislike me on the left and the right, and a lot of people don't agree with my tactics and they think I go too far. But it's absolutely necessary because what has happened to me, right? I'm banned on Uber, Lyft, Uber Eats, uh, Twitter, PayPal, GoFundMe, Venmo, Medium, uh, PayPal. The list, yeah, the list goes on and on. Teespring just banned me, so I can't even print my Loomer t-shirts anymore. Um, what else? Uh, Chase Bank temporarily suspended my online access to my account, and they've banned several of my friends from using their services because they're conservative, right? What has happened to me could happen to you. And it's funny because One America News did a report when I was protesting in front of Twitter about a week or so ago, and it wasn't until after One America News broadcasted my story about me uh, having my bank account uh, online, the access restricted, and my friends having their accounts banned, that I got a phone call from the executive oh, we're office. Glad. The executive office of Chase Bank actually called me after the One America News report, and they called Joe Biggs as well. He told me and told him that they would, uh, you know, reinstate his account. But why would we want to have our accounts reinstated? when, you know, they could just turn it off uh, again, right? So I plan on switching banks. I know that Joe does as well and other conservatives, but it's not a conspiracy theory, right? These executives are now on on the record saying that evil people, who, so people who voted for Trump, should not have access to our platforms, right? Tim Cook, the CEO of, of Apple, said that. Uh, and I think that it's time for President Trump and members of Congress to do something about this, whether it's uh, po you know bringing Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg uh, in for another hearing or, you know, even better, arresting them for committing perjury in front of Congress, uh, because they lied. They lied when they said that they don't censor people and they don't manipulate algorithms, and we now have the evidence. So what is going to be done about it? Right. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.